we're going camping now. Super dark and scary. I mean, it's really dark over here. nice area this used to be full of weeds but they trimmed it we're out here and the mountains are like right over there we always get coyotes here and we heard something like I'm serious we heard something scary like a clicking noise we don't see anything oh my god <laughs> just kidding got him. so this is the Tesloid Model Y camping tent it fits perfectly for the Model Y I feel like it could fit for any Tesla version because all in all, it's just kind of like the trunk area space that you really have to worry about. It's secured very well with the straps. It has four doors, so it's perfect. So it has one, two, three, and then four where the trunk is. I really like this little area, or this canopy area. If it's raining or if you just wanted to hang out and it's sunny, it really helps protect it. Wasn't too difficult to set up. This is a pop-up tent. Did you hear that? This is where I heard something. This is all gonna be in the video, by the way. It's super cool because it attaches to your Tesla and you can keep your trunk open so you have space inside your Tesla Model Y and you have a tent outside. So we're gonna go ahead and set it up just to show you guys how easy it is to camp in your Tesla Model Y anywhere you are. So I'm gonna try to set this up myself. My wife, Everyday Jan, is here to help me though. We've got the tent inside of this bag. It comes in this one carrying bag, it comes with everything you need here. They do have some poles to help support the inside as well as they have kind of like a shading canopy thing that you could use for that. But for this, we're just gonna open it up. Okay, so needed help from everyday jam. Just to make my life easier. So this is how it looks, but it's huge. It's a great size tent. The hard part was these pieces need to pop up, which is what was happening. It wasn't popping up. And then this is the part that goes over your trunk. There's gonna be three straps we're looking for. Uh, lowest is for the tire, second is for like the pillar, third is for the side mirrors. Now, if you guys are too short, don't be afraid to lower the trunk a little bit. It doesn't have to be fully open. In fact, it is easier to do it that way. So here's what I'm talking about. There's the three straps. It's just a loop and a buckle. So there's one here at the bottom. This is for the wheel. This one is for your pillar. So it goes right where this pillar is, where the camera is. And then this one is for your side mirror. So it's the longest one. They do have another one. And I think it just helps keep it all tied down. For me, I actually ended up just putting it on my side mirrors because it was long enough. But again, the goal is the huge space here, which is gonna let in all these bugs and let in all that heat. And you strap it around here uh, and you pull it as tight as possible. This is gonna be for the pillar. Oh yeah, this fits real nice. Now we're starting to get it. And then this is where their tire goes. And then these are for the stakes. So you know how it came with stakes, so you stick it down like here. See how it looks on this side. I'm gonna go ahead and repeat it on the other side. Then we're gonna go ahead and set the interior part of the tent. So already it looks super cool. Now let me show you. It has two sided doors. It's a good size in here. And also, like I said before, you can easily put in stakes and make it way more stable. The thing I forgot to do is open the part that goes to the trunk. I think that's why I was having some trouble. As you can see, it's closed right now. So just because you have this thing, you don't have to attach it to the trunk. You could close the trunk. Let's say you just want to chill and hang out, watch some Netflix then you can open the trunk part, but let's say you wanna to go to sleep and actually sleep in the tent part, you can do that as well. For the trunk part, it's like a giant screen door. So I'm just gonna open that up real quick. So you can kind of see how cool this is already. So now we're doing the interior piece, so that just stays up. It comes in two pieces. There's a little loop in there, and all you have to do is connect the pole, put the loop through, and then on each side, it comes with like a Velcro attachment you just have to push that velcro piece in once you put in one pole you have to put in the other pole for it to kind of secure 
and then you have this open space here. So one of the problems with this tent is it doesn't have any compartments to put your phone or anything like that. But again, you have your Tesla right here, so you could easily put stuff in the Tesla. So it comes with a rain fly. I didn't bring it, unfortunately. Very easy to set up the rain fly, just have to toss it over. Now we have to set up the screen door, like a nice little shaded area. It comes with six poles. Now I had some trouble figuring out what to do. This part goes into the dirt of the grass. It's like the silver piece. Then you have these prongs here. And you just have to kind of angle it and push it in like so. And then it has a very secure fit so it doesn't come out. So now all we need to do is lift this piece up. And it even comes with little tabs. It's perfect if you just want to hang out here and just chill. Okay, so I extended the trunk to its max, so it gives me way more space. Again, I'm six foot three. I could easily stand inside this tent. I think this tent is like seven feet tall. It's pretty tall. Now we're gonna set up the mattress. Again, it's from Tesloid. It's all together. You can get it all together in a package. That way it just makes your camping experience so much more easier. So the seats have been lowered. Now we, it even includes a pump just connected to the cigarette outlet in the back. Air mattress is nice because it has a one-way valve. And then if you want to inflate it, you just have to push this in. And then when you put this in and fill it up with air, the air will not come out when you take it out. So what's cool about this air mattress, it has multiple chambers. So you make sure you have enough air in each section. So we're an Asian household, so we got to take off our shoes when we're inside. So I'm gonna set up my string lights here. I'm really tall, but I can fit in the Model Y. This air mattress is super comfortable. What I like about this air mattress is it literally covers the entire area of the Tesla, the, the whole section. So you have so much space. And it has two pillows. I can get real cozy up in here. I have plenty of space. The beauty is normally because I'm so tall, I have to sleep at an angle. However, now that we can leave the trunk open, we can just leave the trunk open we could close up the tent inside. I have all this space and this feels real good. I'm gonna go ahead, turn on the campfire and get this party started. So now I got the bonfire started, as you can see. It's letting off nice heat. Now what's cool about this is that I can get heat from the Tesla if it's chilly. And because it's pretty well insulated inside of the camping tent, the heat will travel into there. So what's cool is you could have someone sleeping here, you could have another air mattress or sleeping bag there, get the dogs, have a good time, and then when it's time to sleep, just call it a day, and if it's really chilly, you can bring everyone back into the Tesla, or you could just close up the tent part, and you have an actual tent, so it's like a win-win situation. Overall, I love the quality of the Tesloid mattress. The tent was super easy to set up. Again, this is me setting it up for the first time and I wanted to show you guys how difficult is it to install. Now we're done, we have the screen room here. You can adjust everything. It comes with rope, so you can actually clip it onto there and then pull it tighter and anchor it with the stakes that it came with. I mean, it's so peaceful here. If you wanna take a look, it's just crickets. But if you're quiet enough, you could hear the fire crackling from the Tesla, very lifelike. So we all know that we can Netflix and chill while we camp in our Tesla Model 3 and in our Model Y. That's super cool and all, but then in order to watch it, you'd have to be inside the car. But what if you want to watch shows outside while you're camping? One thing you can do while you're camping in your Tesla is use a portable projector. But I got this cool projector from X Jimmy. It's called the Mogo 2 Pro and it shoots 1080p, it's portable. The cool thing about this bad boy is it supports the use of a power bank as a power supply. The only issue is it has to be at least 60 watts, which most people have because 60 watts, they need it to charge their cell phones and stuff. I don't have it, so I'm just using my Goal Zero over here. It supports USB-C, USB-A, as well as HDMI output. And if it's too loud, you could always plug in the headphones if you want to be nice to your neighbors while you're camping. This is built with Android TV and Google Chromecast, all that stuff integrated into this thing. So it's super cool. So one cool thing is with the projector, because you have that keystone function, you don't have to have the projector right in front of the projector screen. Let's just say I move it over here on this side. The auto keystone function automatically adjusts so you could still watch as if it's directly in front of you, even though the projector is completely on the side, which is super cool. That way you have a little bit more flexibility in case you're ever camping and you don't have a lot of flexibility on projector placement. It doesn't have to be exact. Look at that. This has Prime Video, it has Disney+, Plus, Netflix apps, all that integrated into the projector, which is awesome. But yeah, it's just super cool, super fun if you're camping in your Tesla 
or if you're just outside in the backyard. Now, when we are camping, you can go ahead and mirror your phone if you wanted to, or if you have Wi-Fi, we can go ahead and use our phone as a hotspot to play like Netflix or something, which is super cool. Now with the XGME projector, instead of watching Netflix in the car, I could just pop up this thing, get the projector out, connect it to a power bank, and you could watch shows wherever you are, which is pretty awesome. Anyways guys, thanks so much for watching. Let me know if you guys are going camping anywhere fun. I know you want to go to Oregon again and maybe camp some more this time instead of going into a hotel. We're going to go ahead and disassemble it now. And we're going to see how difficult or easy it is to disassemble. Just to be clear, it does come with instructions. It's a QR code, but you need internet access to view it. So if you guys purchase this, I highly recommend check it out before you go camping and test it out, set it up, everything up so you know exactly what to do. We're going to start with the area here that's supporting the tent with the trunk side. We're going to bring down all these screen meshes. We're not going to close anything because if there's any air in there, we don't want the air to get trapped in, which is going to make it much harder. I love how it's all held in with buckles so you can just unbuckle it. So easy. So now that that's done, we're going to remove the screen after a nice night, 6 a.m. and now we're going home. We are actually going camping in real life to Pismo as well as Mammoth. We're probably going to bring the Model X that time, but stay tuned for that video. Make sure you guys subscribe. Of course, like the video because this was scary AF. So now we're going to move the piece on the inside. Piece here. The most difficult part of this thing was putting this pop-up tent back. So we're going to go ahead and try it out right now. So I'm going to bring it away from the trunk. Now I think it pushes in this way. I'm tucking kind of, I'm just kind of making it look neat. Tucking everything in, letting it flow. Don't force it. Because if you force it, you can bend the metal. Okay, that's flatter. The hardest part for me is putting this together. You want to make sure it's completely flat. So if one area is lifted, try flipping it over to the other side so it's completely flat. You're going to be looking at it like a triangle, so you're going to go on one end here. Don't push it down all the way, because if you push it down all the way, there's no leeway here. From there, you're going to grab onto this side and you're going to swoop it down into the center, like this. Once you do that, the other side kind of wants to fold in and it just kind of fold, folds in on its own. And then it's done. So, not that hard. I know for us, we had a lot of difficulty trying to make it into this circle. Let me show it to you again. So it's over here, let's try this side now. We're gonna grab onto this side. Don't push it down all the way. You're just gonna loop one side over. If you lose your hand now in this, in this piece, it's, you're gonna be screwed. So you wanna make sure you keep holding onto there because that's what's gonna tuck over like this. And then from this side, it's gonna tuck over onto here. Bring it back over into that circle. And then you can go ahead and pack it into the thing it came with. That's it. Now it's daytime. Now we're gonna go home, walk the dogs. But that's how we camp in our Tesla Model Y. Anyways guys, see you guys next time.